but are you afraid about the pain? You talking about training somebody? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So as a trainer, your job yeah, is, is an individual, right? Has yeah. a mindset and then a body, right? All right. They'll quit mentally before their body ever will quit. Meaning mentally, they say, "Have you guys ever gone to do, let's say, a set of bench press, right? And, and right before you, you get down there, you go." I'm gonna go for eight, I'm going for eight, right? right? And you get underneath there, and boom, boom, you get eight, this is you get eight fast. What happens with the ninth one? Yeah. You can't do it. Even though you went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you say, oh. What happened there? Mental. Meaning you said eight, therefore as soon as you got past eight, then no, you can't go to eight. That is your mind shutting your body down, not your body shutting your mind down. You would never, that, that, there's a lot of scary things with that. As a trainer, your job is to intercept that message in your client. When they start saying, no, I can't, up here, that's when you block that message to the body and say, yes, you can. And then you push them past it. So when they said, oh, it's eight's all you do. And then they go, no more. They go, yes, three more. Boom, boom, boom. They rack the weight. They go, oh my God. And they get goosebumps. The hairs are coming up. like. I can't. I didn't think I could do that, and I can do it. What else am I holding myself back from? What else am I capable of? That I'm selling myself short on, right? Now all of a sudden, you don't need to motivate them anymore because they saw something happen. They saw the birth of success. That right there is the start. Every great moment, everything that the, the, these, these icons of the world remember by starts in that one moment where they have belief in themselves. Your job is to push through all their bullshit, all their whining, all their crying. Until one day, they look in the mirror and they go, that's me. That's right. Until one day, their neighbor says, man, what are you doing? The coworker goes, hey, you lose weight, what are you doing? When that starts happening, they go, man, it's working. And they become addicted to it. <laughs> and then you just stay on track. Everyone loves success. They just don't like to put the work in without seeing the results. And with working out, you have to put the work in for so much time before you see the results. Your job is to carry them through that month. Those five, six weeks, the doms of that, you lay down to those sorts of up. Yeah, all that push past that until they start to taste the rewards of that effort. When that happens, 